guys, this time in C4, I'm going to talk about the candies in the last episode and how it has changed, and also the Vendrick Van... Hendrick Van Der Decken, I think I'm saying that right, missions. Okay, let's get down to business. Um, the pumpkins now still gives you the same amount of candies, well, uh, when you collect them. However, unlike the last video, uh, how I talked about, gives you media 25 gold per candies, you can carry four times as much uh, candies compared per cargo. So what that means is before, if you carry like, th for my fleet, on average is like 30 cargo a, sh uh, a ship, that's like 600, 800 gold per trip, which makes no sense at all compared to my other conventional means, conventional ports. But now with four times more cargo, I can pick a ship. This one's 43, but doesn't matter. It can carry 100, almost 130 cargo, which I carry pretty much all of it. And that gives me 3,000 gold. That's much more affordable to send your ships to collect the candy into gold or wood. I still recommend gold over wood or don't pick fish, but now it's actually uh, sensible to send your ship there, which is great because the whole point of giving you candies in the first place is to trade it. So from now on, I will be keeping these candies and when I have enough for a for boat or ship, I will send it here, where before it just doesn't make sense. But make sure that your ship can... Oh wait, it's times four, not times three. Okay, so this ship can carry like 170, 160, 170, where... Yeah, 170. So I'm, I wouldn't want to send it until it's totally full. But the same thing still applies from the last video is that you want to collect these items for your ships and then send it out. But now you don't have to dispose it. Now you wouldn't want to remove them because they're actually good for your gold collection. Okay, now on to the next point. Uh, these time-limited uh, missions. Now when I look at the wiki site that talks about what each mission and which, which uh, how much you get in total after the first NPC, the part one, and how each uh, of them, all these costs, you do make a profit, you do gain something, you don't lose something, you also get the gems, I don't know why the icons aren't showing but uh, that's very strange let me try to reload this nope it doesn't want to work okay but when I go to this website and it I'll link it in the video description sure it gives you something that no other missions can give you or ports is gems but if you don't really care about gems uh, speaking of gems the first part gives you uh, these items like you can trade for gems these are uh, oh, oh. hearts of sea and later soul of sea the first mission which I would say it always makes sense to collect gems over gold because gold you can get gems not so much but if you don't really care about gems uh, then maybe get gold but I'll still rec I'll, for me I'll always get the gems so the first part of the mission gives you uh, 50, 50 hearts of sea which you can get 50 gems the second part of the mission gives you 35 Heart of Sea and 20 Soul of Sea, which if you add them up, that's 50 gems. And the last part gives you uh, 95 Soul of Sea. So that's 
95 gems. And if you add them up, that's a that's 195 gems, which is pretty good. But usually, if you look at the boats that you can buy with just gems, let's just go over the events. Yeah, you can buy one of these. That's pretty good. Not quite because it is only 195 and not 290 that's required for these ships. But the ships I bought, which from the last video I haven't, I was aiming to buy these ships, these two ships. Now I've two of these ships, which is way, way, way easier to attain than trying to collect gems and then buy a ship with gems. But regardless, I think that's a personal decision whether you want to collect the gems through the missions or not. Uh, now that I've got the other ships and no longer trying to get the ships, I still want to do these missions just cause, but it's not something that I think immensely increases uh, the gold and the other resource. It's just a trade-off for gems. Which, in some ways, I think it's a little bit holding me back because if I just sent the ships to collect gold at Gulf, then trying to send ships to these uh, missions, I'll have maybe four or five million than sending ships here. I haven't done the exact math, but my intuition tells me uh, the gems you pay a high price for collecting those gems in the missions. But then again, it comes down to whether you want more more gems or more gold. Now, the last thing is a um, minor news is that Seaport is available on Pixel Federation. Oh, they still haven't fixed this news button. If you click it more than once, after you have a pop up and close it, it doesn't pop up again. So, developers, if you're listening. <clears throat> Please get this to fix this so you can always pull up the news when you want to see it after you see it the first time other than reloading the whole game again at least that's what I've noticed on the Facebook um, uh, version of the of Seaport and what it says is because I can't open it to show you what it says is that you get 10% more gems if you buy it on Pixel Federation than on Facebook. Uh, so if you're ever planning to buy gems, buy on Pixel Federation. And the reason for that is because Facebook get a get a cut of the money you put in. So when you buy from Pixel Federation, they can give you a better deal than on if you buy on Facebook. So. Uh, if you're ever planning to buy gems, just saying, then get it on Pixel Federation. I wonder if, oh, no, I'm not even clicking gems on this work after you close these. Developers, please fix this. It'll be nice. Anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, if anything else changes during this event, I'll probably make another video. If you like it, like it. I'll, I'll, make, my, I'll make these video more often. And if you'll enjoy these C4 videos and want more in the future and you want to know when I upload another one, subscribe. Uh, and until then, I'll see you next time.